Hi, do you want to know what stocks, hedge funds and big asset managers have been buying lately? Well listen in in the next few minutes I will go over the holders widget that we have on EPSMomentum.com. Okay, so let's have a look at this holder widget here. Um, very quickly it summarizes the uh, shareholders and liability um, side of the company, right? So. Um, at the top you have the debt to common equity uh, so basically how much debt you have compared to the equity which is very useful to uh, to see if the company is not over leveraged um, you know we, we don't really go deep into debt because you know we, we believe that yes you can go bankrupt with debt but a company that is debt free will not um, doesn't mean that it will grow right so um, so that that's where we really so since EPS momentum is really geared to grow stocks um, become less of an issue of course you have to keep the debt level in check so you know um, and not have something that's so leveraged so that's a very important number that you can um, you can keep track of um, then you have the insiders and institutions uh, institutional numbers here so this these tells you that the founders of the company uh, are about 1.39% or the employees of the company own that much. So, you know, a company that has a lot of insiders is always good because that means that the, the staff is involved in the growth of the company. They are they're have skin in the game, as we say. Um, institutions or funds, um, passive funds, hedge funds and mutual funds that would have bought the stock or hold the stocks right now so that's that's a that's an important number to uh, to monitor uh, on the side you can see the share outstanding the float and the market cap so pretty classic metrics um, here you have a breakdown of out of the 3,681 holders of this stock which is Microsoft you know you only have uh, you have about 43% that increase their position 46 that decrease their position and 10 that remain unchanged um, um, so that's that's really something that you want to uh, to look and see if there's more increased and decrease but of course the quantity uh, also matters right you want to know uh, is there more share bought or sold so the shares in the last four quarters were 5.59 million uh, 5.56 um, actually it's a billion so 5.59 billion uh, shares and so on all the way to 5.593 right so it's a little bit of a decline from the previous quarter uh, about 14 million less uh, so 0.26 percent less so um, that means that in the last quarter as you can see all those four different font categories have been scaling back a little bit on on this stock so this is the breakdown uh, that we have growth funds, passive funds, value funds, and aggressive funds that could be maybe hedge funds. Um, so you can see over the last four quarters, have they been putting in money or not? So mind the scale here. So this is a very big scale, right? So it's mostly growth funds here. So this is based on Zach's methodology, Zach's research methodology of uh, categorizing stocks, uh, categorizing funds, sorry. Um, so it's important to see how these these curves have been doing over time, but obviously the very important number here is this one, zero uh, twenty six percent, which you can uh, which you can really monitor and use as a gauge of of uh, um, institutional um, um, ownership interest in the last quarter. Um, the other one is the institutional score, which is a component of the um, EM bias, which you, see, you can see here, EM bias, and it's also in the screener. Um, this is a very important number because it, it gives gives us like a quick, uh, a quick, uh, you know, minus four, plus four type of number um, where we kick quick jojo off um, what's, what's the interest on that stock. So now we can go into screener and look for all those fields. Uh, so market cap, um, uh, holding score, uh, insider numbers, institutional uh, percentage numbers. Uh, but the most important is change in percent, percent shares held here. Um, so here we can see that um, there's big chain, big um, increase in, in share both for these stocks. Um, so 
you know, is pretty significant. So, for example, um, you know, Teledyne technology. Um, you can have a look, and as you can see, um, there's about uh, so 31%, not too much leverage, 1.69% um, growth um, over the last quarter. So that's that's significant. There's one note here. All these numbers are um, reported are really a lagging indicator, uh, meaning it's more um, some sort of tide uh, as the sea where you know you can see the tide of investor investing more and more or less and less but it's not a leading indicator the first reason is that these are based on 13 f filings that are filed um, at least 45 days after the end of the quarter so you know something that says the uh, 31st of March year uh, is actually um, has been published uh, mid um, either early May or mid April, right? Um, so that's um, so that's that's really something to uh, you know at least 30 or 45 days after the quarter ends, right? So that's something to take into account. I mean, those numbers are kind of old, but yet um, important to know what the trend is on each stock. So you can punching any stock in there, um, for example Tesla and you get the same numbers um, uh, thrown your way. Uh, so see here, uh, it looks like 0.11%. Um, um, but before that, you can see that it grew from 96 uh, a million to 98 million, uh, almost 99 million, so about 3 million. And the interesting thing is, during that quarter, uh, the stock rallied significantly here. So that means what? That means that 3 million difference here is here, right? But of course, you will only find out that number uh, in February. So what is this What is this saying? It's saying that more and more institutions are pouring money in the stock. Um, and you can see the, the, the tide rising. Uh, interestingly enough, it actually went down and then up. And we can see it here with this little bump. So anyway, very good number to uh, to follow and check. Uh, obviously, you can also go into the financials to check the debt to common equity level, and basically, you know, have, go back to a more reasonable level um, and filter on this, um, and and then you would get um, a good a good view of, uh, of stocks where um, fund managers are are heavily investing. All right, that's it for this. Hopefully, you like it.